Ladies and gentlemen, on the far end, we have what Google considers Richard Epcar on the screen. That's the picture that's called up when you do a Richard Epcar image search. We also have Richard Hatch is called up when you look for Richard Epcar. And then also Robert Axelrod is called up when you look up Richard Epcar. We also have with us, apparently, Steve Bloom. <laughs> we also have this Steve Bloom, who looks, like a, who looks like Steve and John Travolta had a love child. <laughs> then we have this dude, who, I, he looks like he needs to be on the side of salad dressing or something. Like, giving All those guys look more like him than the guys <laughs> like me. I know, like, like, what is it? Who is this? That, that's Richard. Uh, who is that? Oh, that's horrible. It's okay. Is that Kramer? Okay. Ah, oh, that's also Richard Epcot. Okay. And here's what happens when you call me up. You get Tiffany Grant. Let's see. And you also get this child. Todd Habercorn and his son. I've never seen that child in my life. <laughs> this is a very groundbreaking panel for me. I know. <laughs> I have some news for you, Todd. Yeah. It's mine. And then also, I get my own. My real child. <laughs> Even when he's not here, he's here. He's not here. <laughs> Well, thank you guys so much for being uh, at this panel today. Um, this is actually the last official panel of this convention for 2016. And so it's awesome that you guys are taking this weekend to be with us uh, here at this, at this uh, convention. We don't take it for granted. So thank you for being here. And thank you, Richard, for being here. And Steve, uh, I know you guys are busy. Uh, and, uh, we'll see you later. Thank you. <laughs> What we're going to do today, a lot of times, in fact, let me do this. Let me go, oh, I like the labeling on this house rear. That's kind of cool. Anyway, so we're going to do this. Yes. Delicious. Never put it in control. You sound like my ex-wife. So, uh, so, uh, so, <laughs> So a lot of times when we're in the booth, people are asking us, like, the, you, what you see is the perfect, like, representation of the line. There's, there are no mess-ups, uh, of course, notwithstanding bloopers, but there are no mess-ups. There's nothing like that. You see a very crisp, clean, rehearsed performance, usually. Uh, and so that's, that's what you guys get. But you don't realize that, you know, we are just like... You, anybody else we, we mess up we flub lines we because when we're doing anime scripts specifically we see it for the first time right there when we do prelay and stuff we get the scripts like a couple days before but really we look at it when we get there uh, no. <laughs> yeah but but so we see we see specifically the anime scripts right when we get there and so that's our first exposure to it and we rely on really fabulous directors to guide us I mean, if you guys uh, popped into a session and seen a script like you were t talking about yesterday with Star Wars, where it's like, oh, this is Star Wars. I mean, if you, you've had uh, plenty of experiences like that where you didn't know what you were reading, and then you pop in, it's like, oh, okay, so this is, this is what we're doing. I mean, what's another, do you have another example? Every single session, pretty much. Every session, okay. Yeah, the worst ones are when you, you rehearse all night thinking that you're going to do a dialect, and I do the research on the dialect, and I get there, and I, I go in thinking I'm going to do a Japanese dialect or something. Now we change our minds, we're gonna go Australian, go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then we got shattered on the spot, yeah. What about you, Richie? I just like that thing you just did. I like this, that would give me like flamingo dance. <laughs>
challenging. That's the <laughs> <way>. <laughs> that was challenging. When, we, when I was doing, I went in to do Sophia the First, and we, I, uh, the, the episode, like, Welcome to Elvenmore, I'm that little elf. And so, and I have a whole song and everything like that. And so when we're doing it, they stop me and they go, you know what? Could you do this in a Scottish accent? <laughs> and I go, okay. And they go, you have a whole song to sing. Could you do that in Scottish too? And I was like, <laughs> and the actor brain's like, yes, yes I can. <laughs> so I'm like, we just did it and it was, it was fun, it worked out. But like, man, there are times, I'm, I'm starting a project tomorrow where they're like, how's your Swahili? <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> yeah, I know. And so it, it happens all the time. So what we have here today is we've got uh, a lot of a lot of copy here. And so we're gonna all of us are gonna be challenged, and some of you guys too are gonna come up here. And we've got things that they're gonna look at and they're gonna read and they're gonna call they're gonna see these for the first time. And so their goal, they're gonna have different goals as we go throughout. And uh, we'll, we'll try one here. Uh, let's see, let me go. I didn't agree to this. I didn't agree to this. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see my contract. So, <laughs> so, gentlemen, if you will face the screen. Aren't I facing? How easy to go over with a microphone. What are we doing here? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay, so. Here's who, 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 do you, who do you guys want to go first, Richard or Steve? Richard! Richard. Oh, Richard. Oh, <laughs> so here's what you're What you're fresh do. hell is this? <laughs> oh, God. Richard, I want you to look at. Oh, yeah, you can look at this. <laughs> I want you to read number 12 in your most dramatic English accent. He tore open her blouse like a publisher's clearing house letter in which he and some guy named Stephen Boober from Stockton, California were potential finalists for the $10 million prize. Yes! <laughs> where he talks about his manhood and <laughs> What he has just done, we, these are the 20 worst romance passages from novels of recent memory. Wow. Uh, Steve, I need you to read. <laughs> you gotta do 13, man. That's the Number best. 13 in your best... <laughs> in your best Swahili accent. <laughs> in your best uh, South African accent. South African. <laughs> Is manhood stood at full attention? Stiff and stony, like the vice president. <laughs> okay, you. Pick, pick a number. Eight? Okay, let's find eight. Oh, no, we need some harder than that. Pick another number. Without messing up, I have not seen this yet. I don't, I don't know what it says yet. But when I look at it, I have to go and I have to not mess up and I have to try to do it in one breath. Wow. Okay, here we go. <sighs> I'm doing no, I'm doing no mess ups in one breath. <laughs> Scottish X. Uh, uh, oh, hold on. Uh. Thirty-acre thermal thicket of thorns and thistles thumped and thundered, threatening the three D thoughts of Matthew the Thug. Although theatrically it was only the thirteen thousand thistle and thorns through the underneath of his thigh that the thirty-year-old thug thought of that morning. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 